morning or afternoon or evening, whatever the case is for you. I am Holly with 30 Days of Yoga. Um, today you might need a blanket or a pillow so that you can sit up because we're gonna spend a lot of time on the floor today. And what we're actually going to focus on is the upper body, the neck and shoulders and that area. And that just stems from a couple of things. We do so much here. You know, typing, driving, everything is to our front and generally down. So that forces us to start to look down, we start to round, um, those kinds of things. Another thing is that if we feel stress or tension on our shoulders, we literally feel the weight of the world on our shoulders, we'll start to do this. Other countries call this the pose of sadness, and um, it's really true. So we'll focus on stretching out the back, the neck, the shoulders, and the pecs, kind of this entire upper, mid to upper back area um, to help with body alignment, to help with our posture. So let's settle in, and like I said, if the floor is a little too much, if you grip, you're welcome to elevate those hips by sitting on a blanket or a firm pillow from your couch. Um, even sitting in a chair today might be helpful. So all that being said, let's connect those sits bones to the ground, lift up into the belly, lift up through the top of the head, and roll those shoulders down and away from the ears. Hands can rest in the lap or in front of you. And then let's close our eyes and begin to focus on our breath. And as we breathe, let's feel our lungs pressing into the ribs and opening up the ribs. And when we do that, we are allowing our intercostals, those muscles between each rib, to get to stretch. Let's take our right ear to our right shoulder. Slide the left shoulder down and away from the ears. Starting to open up the neck down into the top of the shoulder. Coming up to center and over to the other side, sliding the other shoulder down and away from the ears. Awesome. Coming back to center, lowering our chin to the chest, and once again, creating space by sliding those shoulders down. Continuing to focus on our breath, allowing the chest to rise and fall, and maybe even taking our breath to the back side of our body, and letting our breath continue to help us to open up that upper and mid-back. So we'll just roll the head from side to side. And if we find a spot or any spots that are tighter than others, feel free to stop when you find one. Breathe, allow that tension to back off. And once that tension has eased off, continue with the movement.
Coming back to center and lifting up. Excellent. Let's go ahead and reach those arms out nice and wide and give ourselves a big hug, keeping those elbows up. Now go ahead and tuck the chin, opening up from the top of the neck down into that space between those shoulder blades. those arms and then exhaling and switching it so the other arm is on top. We'll do that same thing, keeping those elbows lifted as we tuck the chin and continue to breathe. adjusting however we need to. Beautiful. Big breath in. Inhaling up. Exhaling as we release. Awesome. Let's go ahead and just bring our fingertips. Let me turn to the side for you. Let's just bring our fingertips behind us. It doesn't matter how they're facing because um, we just want it to be kind of comfortable. And we're creating a little bit of an arc through the front of the body, really opening up through those pecs, opening up through the chest, and the head's gonna drop back just a little bit. Notice I'm not doing this. See what happened with my breath and my voice? It's a lengthening through the front of the neck rather than impinging the vertebrae. So go ahead, roll those shoulders down the back, place those hands behind you, lift up through the heart, and just kind of gaze toward the ceiling. One more breath in and out. And on that exhale, we come back up. Awesome. Let me turn my back to you so you can come with me. So 
So let's reach our right hand across the midline of our body, grab with the forearm, and pull on a cross. Shoulders are back and down. And then I just tilt my ear to the opposite side so I can get more opening through the top of that shoulder. shoulder a little bit to find exactly the spot that needs a little opening. Breathing full and deep. One 
more time. Breath in. On the exhale, press into that left hand and come on up. Excellent. So let's go ahead and take it to the floor and we're, we'll just finish in fish and go into stillness. So you want your blanket to be rolled a little bit and you might actually want another blanket or pillow for your head. Um, so you may need two for this part. The middle part of your back will rest on the bottom of the blanket and the heart lifts and opens up. So the chest is lifted. The legs are actually long and kind of anchored down. This creates a little less tension on that low back. If this bothers your low back, go ahead and take out the blanket and just lie with your arms at the sides, kind of in a starfish pose. So we're just allowing gravity to take hold. We're breathing and letting the lungs really open up. So if you happen to have a cold or something like that, you might start to cough as some of that stuff cuts loose. Excellent, taking a breath in, exhaling, go ahead and tuck those knees in and roll over onto a side and move that blanket out of the way and then let's pull the knees into the chest and just round through a little bit, rock, if that feels good for the spine, you can even rock forward and back and massage just a little bit, that is up to you. And go ahead and find your position for stillness for today. So body's nice and long for corpse, knees resting on your blanket or pillow, legs up the wall, a star, it doesn't matter. You just want to be in a position where you can be completely comfortable and relaxed for about five minutes. And once you've settled in and kind of wiggled out whatever you need to, go ahead and close your eyes and begin to notice your breath. Notice how when you inhale, your throat opens and your chest lifts, your belly expands and then your hips lift a little bit. And as you exhale, your hips drop, the belly relaxes, the heart drops back, your throat opens and we exhale. Now go ahead and take yourself to the little movie screen at the front of your brain, right behind your forehead and right behind that third eye area. And I talked about how soreness in the upper back and shoulders is about carrying the weight of the world on our shoulders. It can also be about protecting our heart. So whatever worries you happen to have, whatever stresses, whatever um, heart pains, go ahead and imagine that you place them into your hands. And an angel is sitting right in front of you and you place all of those worries and cares into the hands of the angel. And it's okay to just keep handing over worries. Picture them, name them. 
and hand them over to that angel. And the angel acknowledges you. Give thanks to that angel for taking your burdens and carrying them. And that angel goes and places all of those worries into this fire, into this hot, purpley flamed fire so that those worries can be transformed. And as you have released those worries, and as those worries have been handed over, your body actually relaxes and softens because you no longer have to carry those. And you can actually just allow yourself to be at ease. Coming back to the fullness of your breath, the full inhale and exhale, experiencing what that really feels like for your lungs to fully expand, and then maybe even to inhale a little more, and then for your lungs to fully contract as you let out every little droplet of air. And once you think you've let it all out, See if you can let out just a little more. Begin to notice how the floor feels underneath you, fully supporting you. How the air feels against your skin. And go ahead and start to wiggle your fingers and toes and allow yourself to gently ease back from whatever place you were at, from whatever world you were in. And then roll over onto a side, take all the time that you need to, because there's no rush. There's no rush. We hurry all day long. You might as well enjoy this. And then use those arms to come back up to a seated position when you're ready. I honor you for coming to your mat. Once again, it's a full commitment to show up every single day and to learn whatever it is we need to learn about our bodies and to start that conversation with our bodies every single time we come onto the mat. It's not for the weak at all. So I honor you. I honor your practice. Namaste. Have a wonderful rest of your day and or evening. See you, see you tomorrow.